Hello and welcome to Norwich Talk, where a brace from Tammy Pookie and a goal from Todd Cantwell have given Norwich a pretty comfortable um, 3-0 win in the end. At the start, it didn't really feel like that was what it was going to be. Um, James Collins hit the post um, after maybe about two or three minutes uh, from about four yards. It was an open goal and, and he really should have scored. And from that point onwards, you thought, especially given how much of a test Luton have given us um, twice before this season, obviously the two three one victories. Um, you thought that Luton were really going to put us under pressure and, and give us a test, but that wasn't really how it panned out. Um, I think they went with sort of a, a half press approach. Um, I was expecting them to come at come at us a little bit more um, and to, to try and, and give us more of a match, but they didn't really do that. Um, and it, it, I think I, I said in the match. Um, and I was dismissed a little bit um, as it not really being a factor. But Luton's pitch is really, really small. And I wondered if the way that they press is geared to that small pitch. And that was why they were leaving such um, large gaps for us in the game. Um, but thankfully, we were able to exploit that. Eventually, um, Pookie rounded off quite a nice move. I think it started with a, uh, a nice Lucas Rupp ball in behind. Todd Cantwell took it really well. And, and I thought he was excellent today, by the way. I'll uh, come to that a little bit later. Uh, he set up Pookie, scored the first goal, and then he got the second. Um, the ball sort of bobbling around the box. Buendia had a shot deflected to basically on the goal line and, and Pookie slid in to make it 2-0. Um, and then late on in the game, when it basically looked done, um, Camwell got his uh, got his goal, um, I was, which I was, I was really happy um, for him because he... He played really, really well. And I think we're starting to see that consistency, um, especially coming back from injury. That's usually, I suppose, for a player that struggles with consistency, that's the perfect time for them to have a bad performance. He's obviously missed um, the last couple of games through an injury, but he came back in, looked like he hadn't missed a minute. And he played really, really well. Um, probably my man of the match on the day, although I thought Pookie was really good. His finishing was a lot less wasteful than it has been recently as well. Um, he, he was really good. Uh, at that, there was one chance which he fashioned for himself really well. I thought he might have been able to spin Buendia, but you know, taking the shot was still a fair course of action. Good save from the keeper. So I think he was up there as well. Um, Grant Hanley again. You know, he he always seems to go under the radar because of the, the type of goals we score and the type of football we play and how entertaining we are. But Grant Hanley is is just an excellent player and he deals with attackers so well. And credit has to go for go to Ben Gibson for allowing him to do that. I think Hanley's approaches a lot more hands-on um, and if he had a, a maybe less reliable defender with him then um, him going out and trying to win the ball all the time might become a hindrance because if, if they get in behind us then there's not sufficient cover but Ben Gibson absolutely is sufficient cover and he's a really smart and intelligent player um, so they both looked really good your new list I thought was good again um, Aaron's or Aaron's depending on how um, how you think it should be said I think Aaron's is, I suppose, how we should all be saying it now, but that's going to be hard to get used to. I thought he was good again, um, really attacking today as well. And I've, I've said before that maybe his attacking play is a little bit overrated and his defending a little bit underrated, but I think we're seeing his um, offensive play really come on um, in it, this season, especially. I think he's been absolutely excellent at that sort of thing. So, yeah, overall, just a, a really good performance from a lot of different players and, and Norwich will be really happy. I think... Luton's approach wasn't quite right. I think the the way that they sort of went halfway between sitting off and, and pressing, I don't think you can afford to do that against a team um, that have been performing as well as Norwich. I think you really need to decide on, on what you want to do. And, and if you want to come and press us, you really need to go for it like Rotherham did, you know, Rotherham um, in a relegation battle. And they really gave us a good game by doing that. So it's been proven to work. Then, uh, you know, uh, on the other end of the spectrum, there's teams that have really sat off, like Birmingham early in the season. We needed them to get a man sent off and then we scored in the 87th minute. So, you know, there's it's proven that you can push Norwich when you, you commit to one of those styles. But I think the problem for um, Luton today was that they they just didn't really, really do that. Um, I must say, I, I felt a little bit bored towards the end of the game. The game felt done at 2-0 and then when it got made 3-0, you thought um, maybe they can they can go and get some more goals, but they seemed to sort of relax a little bit. The game got a little bit attritional and um, it wasn't really that exciting. So I don't think it will be the game that Norwich fans enjoyed the most in the season. It might be the, the game when they were the most relaxed, um, but not really anything to get overly excited about post sort of the 
75th minute mark or, or something like that. Ono Hernandez came on and, and struggled again, I thought. But Kieran Dow had some really good touches. I know um, we're all, especially us at the at the channel, um, desperate to see Kieran Dow succeed. Um, so maybe that's why I'm I'm sort of um, bigging his performance up a little bit. Uh, you know, it's just a, a few neat passes here and there, but it's just good to see him on the pitch, really. Um, I heard Chris Gorham in the commentary saying that prior to the game, he'd only played 59 minutes. Um, since the the new year, which was you know over three months ago now, which is which was a bit of a shocking stat, especially when you think when they signed him, how much um, reliance we we expected to have on him. So it was good to to see him back on the pitch. Jakob Sorensen came on, um, got some minutes. Uh, I, I, he didn't really do that much, so um, it's difficult to judge. But you know, good to see him on the pitch and. It, it, it was that sort of thing that, that made it feel like a, a win of champions. Uh, again, I think that was the sort of headline on the last uh, match reaction that Ben did. Uh, and it's these sorts of games that really make you feel secure in where we are. I think there's the sort of classic phrase, you know, that you, it's the teams that win when they're not playing well. But actually, it's almost the teams that make the game boring. You know, you, you watch Man City at the moment, for example, and when they go 1-0 up, you're not really as interested in the game anymore because you know there's no chance the team's going to come back. And that's how, how it felt for me um, um, today. And, yeah, I was just... It, it, I was really pleased with it. From a, a sort of cynical point of view, I was really... Or, or clinical point of view, sorry, I was really pleased with it. Maybe from a more cynical um view I was disappointed because you always want that little bit of entertainment uh, we didn't get that in the last sort of 20 minutes but the way that Norwich played and, and especially the gaps Luton left for them to play um, it, it turned out to be a really fluent and positive performance um, as I said a lot of credit goes to Todd Cantwell especially I thought he was excellent um, but the whole team played really well um, really pleased and on to the next one unfortunately we now have to find um, stuff to, to fill eight whole days with uh, until the next game against Sheffield Wednesday on Sunday, um, but it will be a good a good rest and, and break for for the lads and, and a good opportunity for Farker to get on the training pitch um, finally um, for the first time in in a while. So yeah, uh, keep yourselves entertained until then. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.